Scorpio. Welcome to your October tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. So what is the central theme of Scorpio's reading today? What is the central theme of Scorpio's reading today? I have love. Love. This is like a youthful love. There's a lot of peace and harmony and hope. There's a lot of hope here. It's very romantic, a lot of motivation. You feel secure, you feel stable in this relationship, this love that you just started. Um, it's highly intuitive. You're using your intuition. And there's a lot of um, peace and good communication here. It's beautiful. It could be a love of yourself or it could be a love of somebody else. Scorpio. Get the story out. Yeah, it's a pretty long story. Right, so I see that the story begins with um, somebody who's very narcissistic. They could be like even physically abusive towards you. We have the King of Wands in the reverse. And that's in the past. I see that you lost hope. And you became obsessed with the past and you kept holding on to the past. But then you became like this socialite or there was somebody there that brought people together, that organized parties, that um, there could have been a matchmaker, which restored bounds, which restored hope. Yeah, the sun came out. It's a new day. You have a new start. This is a brand new beginning. And it, this is full of joy and optimism and hope. And the sun is shining. And that's mirrored back here. It could be with a Leo or somebody who's very theatrical. This is also your card. It's a major life event. And you're, you were holding on to something. But I see you letting go. And getting more into this fire energy, this Leo energy, this go-getter attitude, this happy, joyful, it's a new day. I see there's a lack of teamwork though. I see friendship. There's a lack of teamwork, but there's friendship. I have double threes. So threes are all about growth side by side. And this is a perfect couple. We have earth, which doesn't like to move. It's very grounded and steady. And then we have water, which is very emotional, which is your energy. And I see that there is change and that's causing earth to be uncomfortable but it's very harmonious this is a good couple and there's a friendship it's built on friendship but I do see that there's a lack of teamwork or planning for the future it could also be planning for the future I see there's a clear effective communicator Um, then the devil comes out. It could be a Capricorn. 
this is a toxic relationship, this is addictions, and it's separating, it's separating this beautiful love, this addiction comes back, could be an addiction from the past and there's a separation here. It could be a sexual addiction, a porn addiction, an addiction to a foreign substance, any type of addiction, but this is toxic. And it could be a toxic relationship. It's a major life event. It was all going so beautiful up until then. Everything was so happy and then it just went dark. It got dark towards um, the end of October. I see you being left out in the cold. We have the Five of Pentacles. We could definitely be dealing with like a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. I'm getting that really strong. I'm also getting Scorpio and Leo really strong. But I, yeah, I see you being left out in the cold. This could be poverty. This could be um, a relationship ending. You're like, why am I here again? You're just like, why am I here again? I'm here again. You've been here before. We have the King of Wands in the reverse, and he came out in the beginning. So this abusive person from the past came back, and this is a completely different deck. I'm using two decks. He comes back, or he, he or she comes back, this very abusive person, this toxic relationship. I see you have choices. I see you going more towards the negative choice. But I see a new beginning. A, a solid grounded start for November. So I see you traveling. I see you having choices. You can choose to go to the darkness or you can choose to go towards the light. And I see you heading more towards the past, towards the darkness, but that's your choice. But I see ultimately you get a new beginning. It's a new financial start, a new lease on life, a new health. This is, this has explosive potential. It's karmic. It'll lead, this leads to the end. This leads to the completion. This leads to the world. It's like the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is turning and you have a new beginning in November. There's a new beginning here. Everything goes so well. There's love. There's absolute love. This could be self-love. This could be relationship love. And I see in the past, and this is in the past, I could see, I, I could even see this was last year last fall there was an abusive person that came to you and it caused you to lose hope and you became obsessed with this person you were dwelling on this person and it could definitely be a narcissist it could have been a fire sign a leo or an aries or sagittarius but not necessarily but then i see you stepping in your power Becoming the queen, an influential person, and even if you're a man, you still brought in that influential energy of the queen. And joy, the sun came out, it was a new day, there was optimism, there was hope, there was a brand new start, but there's a lack of teamwork. There was a friendship. There's a lack of teamwork here, a lack of com camaraderie, a lack of planning. There's a lack of long-term planning. I see a clear, effective communicator with a very sharp tongue. And it's bringing, it's, he's bringing back this pain, this toxicity, it's returning. This, this addiction from the past, this toxicity. You thought that you healed from it, but you haven't. And I see you just being like, oh no, this can't happen again. 
But it does. And you have a choice. And you can cut the negativity out of your life. You can have a brand new start with this explosive potential. And you are, have the ability to manifest a brand new beginning that's solid and stable in November. Or you can go back to the past. And I see that you are a slave to yourself, to your own addiction. It's by your own making. It's your choice what you choose to do. But ultimately, I see love driving you. And I see peace. I see harmony. I see hope. I see, I see by the full moon, everything will have came to fur, 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 <laughs> fruition by the full moon. By the light of the full moon this love will have blossomed and manifested and you need to follow your intuition you need to follow your heart thank you scorpio